Hey, what's up? It's David here. Today's video is unusual as I have a model train. Well, I am reviving an old channel I used to be involved with many years ago called Model Reviewer. So this video is being released on two separate channels, David Marth and Model Reviewer. And if you're watching this on Model Reviewer and you've been a long time subscriber, the wait is finally over. New videos are coming with new models as well as past releases that have been stored in the collection. And hopefully as the channel grows under my leadership. So without further ado, let's get on to the model that you've been staring at whilst I've been non-stop talking about what's happening. This is the Hornby Class A4 Walter K Wiggum. If I've messed that up, I apologise. English is not my first language. With the running number 60028. In the nationalised British Railways livery in experimental blue, but more like purple. Uh, reference number to this is R3701. So if you want to search for it online, that's the number you want to go for. The presentation of the packaging is really nice. You've got a picture of the model as it depicts the loco, what it looks like, and it states the bare minimum radius the model can handle before falling off the track, so to speak. Now, I like to mention, this is not the first time Hornby has made this color of A4 before in this tooling. It actually was done in 2007 for the Merlin A4 loco but well, this was more than a decade ago and as you can see I have that model right here for comparison they are almost identical other than a different nameplate and running number and if you'd like to see an unboxing video of that loco please leave a comment down below and we'll see so let's get back to Walter K. Wiggum, the loco that we're here for, for in the first place. So as you can see, the packaging is quite nice. It's got an outline of the, the above view, bird's eye view of the top of the, the loco. Showing you the curl and other parts. And on the back, there is information about the loco itself, specifically the actual class A4 in the hole how it came about in the 1930s the chief designer uh, Sir Nigel Cresley and there's quite a lot of interesting stuff there but there's just not re really enough time to read it but I suppose you can just pause the video and read it yourself so without further ado let's get on to the unboxing of the loco so I'm just going to carefully pull it out from its sleeve and it unveils the loco itself so quite like the new packaging from Hornby as you can actually see the loco whether it's damaged or not but even before you even have to open it up they've removed the tissue paper and the polystyrene foam uh, film uh, and obviously here that's the service sheet that you get and that's got the information of service in it um, as well as instructions how to open it up to DCC it and other various things that you need to know about and the safety I'd like to mention that no one under the age of 14 should be handling this loco <laughs> so as you can see it's very clear packaging and you can see both sides flipping it over and like i said if there's any damage you'll see it through this this uh packaging instead of having to open it up so if it is damaged i wouldn't even go this far i'd just literally send it back to hornby or the, the, any retailer that you purchased it from and here's the detail pack that you get that's the wheel that you can change. So if you've got a, more, a layout with more generous curves, 
you can put that on there but uh, they put a flat wheel so it can run over um, sharper sharper radiuses obviously under uh, well over the 338 millimeter radius limits that the loco currently has that was just a piece of uh, clear plastic to stop uh, anything sticking to the loco so packaging removed close up look about to see the detailed cab in that corner there and just going for above you and that's the rear corridor and that little circle is the porthole for to allow light in to the corridor So this model retails for $179.99. You can also DCC fit it with a digital chip, or you can even go as far as putting digital sound in. I like to mention that that, that version of uh, modification is a little bit more uh, fiddly as you may have to cut parts of the inner tender out in order to fit the actual speaker for the chip and um, obviously should be handled by professionals if you don't feel confident to do so so as you can see it's one of those models that only comes around for once a decade because the last version as i showed you was well basically did come out in 2007 so that's quite a long time now so you can see that's i've just basically laid out the box with the loco and the the detail pack as well as the service sheet and that's mainly what you get in the package there's no other things as this is just a standalone loco so don't expect to get any track or controllers there is one particular thing that i'm not too keen on hornby has decided in recent years and this doesn't just fall to the a4 model it also falls to other loco tendered models that hornby has produced is that you can't separate the loco from the tender anymore you used to be able to as they were held in by just a simple lift pin but now they're actually held by a physical screw and to be honest i don't really want to de-screw my loco every time i want to separate from the tender so that's really something that they should really go back to thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and bye for now